Good evening, everyone. My name is Ray Rose, the Executive Director for the Palace of Songs Contest 2023, and I'm so happy to see so many smiling faces in the crowd with us today. I would like to thank our hosts, the artists, the production theme, and everyone who put in the work to make this contest possible. As you know, the Palace of Songs contest originated in 2010 in London, so it's such a great honor to see the contest thrive here again once more. There are some amazing acts heading your way tonight, from music to dance and much more. And of course, the 30 talented finalists competing for this year's title. So with that, I'd like to hand it over to our host to explain the voting sequence of this year. Et bonsoir to Je m'appelle Hélos, le directeur exécutif de concours Palace de Songs 2023, et je suis si heureuse de voir autant de visages souriants dans le four avec nous aujourd'hui. Je tiens à remercier nos hôtes, les artistes, l'équipe de production et tous ceux qui ont travaillé pour rendre ce concours possible. Comme vous le savez, le concours Palace Songs a vu le jour en 2010 à Londres. C'est donc un grand anneau de voir le concours prospérer et si on voit le de plus. Il y a des numéros incroyables à qui vous attendons cette soir, de la musique à la danse et bien plus encore. Et bien sûr, les 30 finalistes talentueux en compétition pour les titres de cette année. Donc, avec cela, je aimerais laisser la parole à notre hôte pour expliquer les séquences de vote cette année. And with that, back to you, Sam. Here are the 30 countries participating in this year's Palace of Songs Grand Final. When all of the acts have finished performing, we will begin the voting process. Remember that this year, 30% of the vote will come from 42 professional juries from participating countries, 20% will come from an international music panel, and the remaining 50% will be arriving from televoting, where you can vote on which song can emerge victorious. To vote, Follow the QR code shared across the arena and on your television. Remember, you can vote up to 50 times for your favorite song, but you cannot vote for your own country. Alors, voici les 30 pays qui participaient au concours de Palais de Chansons de cette année. Lorsque tous les accès sont terminés, nous commencerons le process de vote. N'oubliez pas que cette année, 30% de vote provide de 42 jurys professionnels des pays participants, 20% provide d'un panel musical international et 50% restant provide du télévote, où vous pourrez voter sur les chansons qui sortiront victorieuses. Pour voter, suivez les QR codes partagés autour de la reine et aussi à la télévision. Vous pouvez voter jusqu'à 50 fois pour votre chanson préférée et rappelez-vous que vous ne pouvez pas voter pour votre propre pays. So, speaking of countries, let's introduce the first song of tonight's grand final. Spain. I feel that I 
so lie to me, lie to me, oh baby, lean up on my shoulder, lie to me, get down on my body, not me like it was always meant to be, now you love somebody who I always look, so come and give it a minute.
Celo noć plesali Ljubili se i sve igrali Ko danas ju priveć ne bo Ne pomoš ti I could never let you go Baby I can't wait to know What do you think about things? Believe it I will always be there So you can't tell me anything And I listen
Est-ce qu'il faut que je te le répète Ça brûle, ça pique et ça monte à la tête Je deviens encore plus bête That was all 30 of the amazing songs competing tonight for the chance to win the Palace of Songs grand final title. Now, voting is officially open on both phone and application softwares. In order to go through the app, text the word palace and in order to use the text messaging software check out any of the qr codes available around the arena now get ready to do some amazing trivia with a backstage host suri hello everyone and welcome to palace trivia our first question in what city did the palace of songs originate in london united kingdom Oslo, Norway, Athens, Greece, or Tokyo, Japan? The correct answer is London, United Kingdom, and in 2010, framework for the first Palace of Songs contest to take place in Toronto, Canada, was developed in London. The next question is, which country hosted the last contest in 2022? Was it Sweden, France, Australia, or Armenia? The correct answer is France, who hosted the 10th edition of the Palace of Songs contest in 2022. The questions are now getting a bit trickier. Which of our hosts won the last edition? Sam Ryder, Surrey, Adele, or Paloma Faith? The correct answer is Paloma Faith, who won in 2022 with the song Only Love Can Hurt Like This. The fourth question tonight is, which country has always qualified to the grand final of the Palace of Songs contest? Is it Norway, the United States, Portugal, or Albania? The correct answer is Norway, who has qualified to all of the editions of the Palace of Songs contest. And now the last question of the Palace of Songs trivia. How many people watched the grand final last year? Was it 1.6 million people, 7.3 million people, 2.4 million people, or 4.6 million people? For those of you who said 4.6 million people, give yourselves a round of applause. You are correct. 4.6 million people tuned in to last year's Palace of Songs Grand Final in Paris, France. Thank you for playing Palace of Songs Trivia. The voting lines are now closed, and this marks the end of the voting period. Now, while the votes are being collected and tabulated, enjoy this special presentation where you can take a look back through the history of the Palace of Songs contest. <laughs> 